Hello everyone, welcome back to Dead Cells. Oh, pardon me. Good start. Thank you for everyone for your wonderful comments and advice, etc. Um, I'm just going to start playing. Let's see. You know, if my phone buzzes, just blame no Ooh, blame Nora. Because they're talking... Uh, they're talking <laughs> weird stuff in a weird channel. Look, I do appreciate that we can have these candid conversations in, I was going to say polite company, but I'm sure you understand my meaning if I don't say polite company. What happens if I do this then? That's pretty funny. I'm okay with this. Um, I, uh, some people you can't have a conversation with without them not understanding you. I appreciate that maybe I have a possibly uh, unique sense of humour. Ooh. This, by the way, before we get into talking about nothing at all, um, uh, maybe not. I nearly broke that door as well, did you see? What is the... how do I... how do I know if I can uh, shield again? I know there's a roll again indicator, but is there a shield again indicator? That? I, I don't know if I'm doing that right. It feels right, but I wonder if I can do better. Well, it kind of helps if you don't already have been behind the enemy. It feels like there's um, more of an opportunity to actually successfully parry. Ooh, that was a mistake. Because you spend some time traveling when you use the shield, which is cool. I see uh, an obelisk over there that I'm going to want to look at. I tried to say obelix to make it sound like I'm amusingly don't know how to speak the language and then I said up the list, which is the correct way of saying it and completely proved myself before actually because that's where I was going to be uh, I don't want to use vampirism, be gone oh I should have taken it because I don't have any skills yet clearly you're saying I, haha, -ha. very funny um, oh I might as well have this one then, sure thing Yeah, it seems like you have a little bit more time to successfully parry with this shield than you do with the other shields, because in the charge, it, it like you have a time period. There's a, it's like a half a second or so in which to perform the parry, whereas with the other shields, it's sort of more instantaneous. So uh, I think we could probably get behind this shield. There are a few shields that I have now. Sent me all the way over here, and I've missed. I've missed my time. I will go to the toxic sewers this time, of course. We tend to have alternative conversations in some of the discords that I spend time in. My phone is flashing, but not buzzing, which is probably, if you know the sort of conversation we have, it can definitely be taken both ways. Uh, torch. Okay, let's just use it. Burns your enemies. I feel like it's just the fire version of the... Might as well do this. Um, it might be the fire version of the Frost Blast, which doesn't sound that great, if I'm being honest. Um, okay, so I guess we'll see when we unlock it. Successful parries when flexed shots inflict 100 recovers HP after an enemy dies. Let's do this. It's about time we used these... Um, shields properly, which means we're probably going to go for a survival run for the first time in a while. Now, this might not be a good opportunity to go through the toxic sewers because I'm doing something new, which means I should probably do something that I'm slightly more familiar with. I don't want to give myself too many oh, great. opportunities to fail. See, that wasn't correct. Stop. Stop rolling. There we go. That wasn't supposed to happen, in case you were wondering. Yeah, I probably should have um, taken a path <laughs> that is a little bit less um, easy to fail with. See, that was perfect timing, so more of that, please. I have a feeling if I have the correct shield and I just parry everything, I, I can't be killed. You're the elite, I understand. Run away. Right, I'm, I'm parrying too early. So get rid of this, because it's in my way. Just use that. Nice. 
Missed, missed. Run away. <laughs> oh no. Ruh -ruh. Nice. Ah, kill it. No. <laughs> so I can't run away well enough. All right. I wasn't prepared. I, 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 I want to do over. Let me try again. I wasn't prepared. I was trying to talk about conversations in Discord and the game took over. Okay, the game took me by surprise. What is this one? Absorbs more damage, cannot parry. I don't want it. It's not good enough. I don't understand the frontline shield. Okie dokie. I also didn't realise we'd taken this uh, monstrous weapon. With which I have previously had some success. But maybe I should, you know, use the uh, sword as well. Get out of here. This is not the right time for this. I can't do anything. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. It's not fair. I don't even have a skill yet with which to control this crowd. Use a quick blade. Jen, stop sneaking up on me. What are you doing? Just taking pictures. No one, no one consented to pictures being taken. This is, that wasn't fair. Who does? Simi. Well, Simi can watch. Shout out to Simi. Hi. Shout out to Simi, hi. Simi, feel free to watch. Uh, that's a bit meta, because of course if you were watching by now. Why is this here? It's, oh, it's a wall one, not a floor one. Too bad, yes. Uh, if you weren't watching, I wouldn't be telling you to watch. Not successfully. And if you were watching, there would be no point telling you to watch. It's not meta. It's the opposite of meta. It's like a contradiction. Why are you just staring? Because it's a really cool game. <laughs> Freaking me out, woman. Breathing down my shoulder. Do better. I think you're looking over my shoulder and breathing over my ear. That's how it works, right? Breathing in my ear? Yeah. I'm, I'm doing really badly today. But... If I was any good at video games, and I keep playing it. Keep playing Isaac. <laughs> that's not them, that's it. I'm Starbound. You haven't played Starbound for ages. Yeah, no, I haven't downloaded it on the map. Does it even work? I suspect it does. No, I'm too scared to try. You want to break my new Mac, but... You're not going to break it by trying to run a game. It just won't let you install it. It won't be an option. Just leave that again. Thank you. I was also playing a lot of Fallout in New Vegas. Yeah, what happened? I don't know. I'm when you playing... Laptop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that runs on Mac. I'm sure. That runs on Linux, for goodness sake. Excuse me with this. Can you see that joker? Just turn him around. There, Lol, boom. Why do these things keep dropping money? Is it a thing? I don't have a special thing. I also have this grenade that I'm just not using. Quite a powerful grenade. That's probably... I'm going to buy that. You can't stop me. I have money. And no budget. Okay, bye. Ooh. More Thanks kebabs. for listening, by the way. Next time there will be a puppy on this show. <laughs> yeah, a puppy on the show. Kenzie, come and help me commentate because I'm bad at it. Ah woo! <laughs> what? We need Discord Nitro so we can have him open. Ooh, money, money in the wall. Where am I? Usually find it. It's my favourite place to find money. There's a hole in the wall. <laughs> Game-based ATM. You don't have to put a pin in. You just have to hit it properly. I'm going. No, I don't need to go that way because life's good. Digitally yours. I don't know which way to go. I don't even think there's anything up here. I'm just gonna go for completion's sake. I, by the way, no, I don't know if I'm gonna finish my uh, conversation with myself about Discord. We will see if my neurological nonsense takes us there. I don't want vampirism. I'm not doing a survival run today and I'm not paying money to just get less money back by selling it. So that's silly. Let's go talk to We'll remind ourselves how it works. I'll tell you how it works. You don't just aggro elites at random. Honestly, I thought the elite was the... Archer. I thought the archer was the elite in that particular situation. How wrong I was. Just goes to show how wrong you can be. At least I get to put more points in my torch and then we can see if it's any good. Do I want to do this? Um... Not really. 
Yeah. I'm hoping to just find better in the first place. I think we're going to go... I don't know. The thing is, at this point, if you choose any mutations, unless you reset them, I suppose. I guess the purple ones aren't that great with my loadout as it is. Because my, um, my crossbow is still pretty bad. If I... Um, I'm not close to an enemy. So let's do the close to enemy thing. The thing is, my crossbow in, it scales with purple and green, which is not the colour of the mutation that I took to support the crossbow. Although, I'm wondering what the synergy is with green then, because if it's survival synergy on the weapon itself, you have to sort of assume that there's a... like a survival mutation or something that makes it worth taking survival to increase the, the weapon. Whoa! I do like the crossbow for being powerful, but it does come at the trade-off of speed, which means if you have to hit something that's going to sort of attack you more quickly, then you can attack it. Excuse me. Come back. Uh, you're going to have a bad time. Uh-oh. I'm okay. I survived. Despite the way it was looking, despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. Whoa. Run. Run. No, 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 no. Uh, I have no excuse. <laughs> I can tell you what I think happened, but you're not going to believe me. I thought I'd successfully rolled past the archer. So my brain transposed the position of the archer and myself. Just it assumed that I was where I thought I was, which seems like a reasonable thing to suggest. I wasn't. <laughs> I was... I was actually in front of the archer, which then attacked me. You... Stop being a meanie. This, so they've got the assault shield back. I was okay, I felt like I did okay with it last time, but the main mistake I made last time was... Trying to, um... Okay. Uh, trying to do a... a floor that I wasn't comfortable with. Right. Bad timing. Not just bad timing, but awful timing. Like, I'm so used to that enemy now. Um, okay. I was about to say something that completely contradicted myself. I am somewhat used to that enemy now, which means I thought that I knew when it was going to attack, but I was wrong because it didn't. So I'm going to try this survival thing again with the uh, HP after dark stuff of which again. So that was a bit wonky. Nice. Oh, we didn't even stun it. Okay, fine. Let's have a look at this assault. What is the actual thing? Blocks attacks while charging forward. It doesn't um, have anything special on top of that. Like, does extra damage or anything. So I'm going to keep going. Survival because I want to do a survival build, not because this is a survival suitable run. I'm, kind of, I'm trying to force my own hand, basically. Rather than... Whoops. Um, rather than trying to let the, the run tell me what it wants to be, I'm going to try and force it to be something that it doesn't necessarily want to be. And as a result, you know, it's going to resent me for the rest of its life, probably going to a, a field of work that I you know, don't really have any respect for or trust in it. Probably going to rebel at an early age and um, potentially um, just, you know, ruin me as a as a run haver for, for the rest of my life and just, you know, I did... I was trying to make out that the runner was actually a child and I was, you know, suggesting that my, my uh, forcing of it to, to do what I want rather than to flourish and grow in its own capacity was going to be a, a source of contention for the rest of our lives and, you know, never really truly respect me as, truly respect me as a parent or etc. I do see that weapon. I don't want to go that way, so I'm not going to. You can't make me. Let's go and, uh... Nope. Pick it up. I don't want it. I know it's a heavy crossbow. I know we just did a heavy crossbow. 
or sort of the opposite of a heavy crossbow. We didn't take the heavy crossbow because we damaged. It. To my own, I won't even say hubris, just epic failure. I saw the other shop and I don't really want to go to it. It's a shop, right? Yeah. Heck it! Can't make me. Probably could have bought another skill. Who cares? I'm the maverick. I'm not. I'm not here to do what the game thinks I should do. That's just silly. Oh, I'm taking the torch, by the way. <laughs> I mean, I've unlocked the torch. I don't know if it'll start off as a random uh, starter sword or something like that. What does it do? Launches a grenade, burns enemies. I don't care. Give me that. I'm having trouble finding that the sword, the torch, would be that great unless I already had a really good uh, synergy waiting. It says 15 of HP, right? Not 15%. Um, yeah. It's uh, not really how we'd say it in English, but I'm not going to complain that people have translated their game into my language. Even with the minor error here or there, that's, that's completely fine. Um, it just confused... Ah! Whoa! Did you see that? It tried so hard. And yet, this time, it got no far. I'm not, there's no point. I know what's down there. Apparently, the other gate, Gardener's Key, is just right there. Miss. Miss fail. Look, we'll get used to it. Timing on shields is something I really don't have. Because... Why? You know, it's so rare in any run, except for a shield run, that I would have to know exactly when an enemy's going to attack. Most of the time I roll behind it way before it's even going to have the opportunity to attack. Um, and therefore it's not, not much of a problem. But not, not anymore. So I guess I pay more attention. See, I thought that the gardener's key... was um, on the map. I thought it was a little red blob on the map. Whoa. Burning target. Now oh, I wish I'd taken the thing, don't I? It's not that good. Um, so I'm going to take it, but I'm open to be convinced that that was not the correct thing to do. But <laughs> let me know. Um, obviously, I'm just making up my own tactics as I go along, which is the probably the main issue with like gameplay. Please. I know I have a skill, okay? <laughs> I'll get around to it. I feel like these um, sort of experimentation runs where I try and learn a new skill. Well... I think I prefer this. It actually has some effect. Tempted by the torch, but I, th oh, I think not. I don't think I can sell that, can I? No. Um, I don't sort of get into that, that drone state where... I, I'm just, I think this... I'm just going to double check that this is the time door, because I can see... Uh, it is. I nearly missed this. So let's keep going uh, survival, because I'd like to get these mutations up and, up and running as much as possible. Um, can we just skip... Yeah. The... The sort of the, the fugue state sort of thing where I can just talk. Well done. <laughs> it is not going to happen when I've got something like the um, the nutcracker. Is a I'm going to take it but not sell it. Well, not I can't sell that anymore because that's interesting. Right. So is this on the map? Yes. So. Apparently the other key is also somewhere really obvious and apparent, but um, I, I don't know where. I don't work. All right, I don't have the same um, effect on the shield, so I have to be a little bit better with the timing. Which again, going to be a problem for me because I'm bad at timing. See. Also, everyone seems to have a slightly different, you know. Timing. Time. So, like, learning the timings of every every enemy. Wow. Not much, uh, not much DPS on that thing, is there? Really need to start parrying, because it's going to get me all my HP back over time. Which, if I can get the parry correct in, in, in as many situations as possible, that will basically massively increase my survivability, which is the point of taking survival. 
That's why it's called survival, the mutations in the first place. Right? So apparently, one of the keys is just easy to get. It's just there in the world. You don't have to do anything at all special to get it. I hate this. Just do this. Yeah, see, I, I'm already prepared for it to attack me before it's um, exclamation mark has shown up. So I'm parrying the thing that I'm expecting way before the thing that I'm expecting actually comes to pass. Nice. Run. Okay, good. Not everything you can parry, okay? <laughs> it's not always possible. I wouldn't mind a different... Uh, green. Oh, that was bad. Weapon. If it's all the same to you. This one's okay. It just doesn't have the DPS. Maybe we upgrade it and it will be fine. I don't really know though. We don't have any DPS sort of skills, basically. Uh, yeah, radio silence is me just like thinking about nothing at all because I have. No, no thoughts left in my head. It's all gone. You've ruined me, game. Nice. The stun on those really does help, but it's almost like I want to say not enough. We could have two barnacles. Could you? I mean, just, just take it. <laughs> Stop overthinking everything and just buy. Buy, buy, buy. This is capitalist society. Everything that you could possibly want is is available for sale so i'm gonna keep with the nutcracker i know i said that i can't even sell the other ones but sort of leaving them there on the off chance that i feel like i should be able to uh like i should want to come back for them at some point the other key, the key was on the map okay which means the other key is on the map all the keys are on the map i've seen them run help Missed. Run away. Mate. That thing is so fast. See, I can't just not play with the shield ever because I will never get the hang of these, the timing on this thing. But at the same time, it's so frustrating. So I, I basically, I'm just going to have to go. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to do a, a reset run. The thing is, now we're at 22 minutes. So, ooh. All right. Interesting. Inflicts 40 damage. Cannot parry. But like... I have to learn this now, because obviously there's no parry. There's that... Yeah. I mean, it absorbs damage. Presumably... Oh, come on. I don't know if... Um, all right, we'll have to figure this out. My questions now are... Can it recover more damage than it absorbs if I get that mutation high enough? Uh, give me HP back when I... Oh, no, that's a parry one. Which I can't do. Oh, so many questions. How do I successfully use this weapon? Is my question. But not weapon, shield. Because you know? I can just lift it up anytime I want. Does that mean I can't send these back? Well, it's not going to help if I don't get it in the first place. I, I don't know. I died, by the way, because... I just don't have the timing down on the on the parry at all, especially not when it comes to those difficult ones. So I think we're just sort of going to have to get the hang of it, basically. There's no two ways about it. I, yeah, just run instead of teleporting. It's not like there's a timed part of this game or anything. Ow. Excuse me, princess. Survival, full-on survival. Yes. So we're going to have to have a look at our survival mutation options and see whether any of them appears to match the shield that we actually have. Oh. Like, I don't know how to use this uh, shield at all. Like, th these things are not going to be affected by the shield whatsoever because it looks like I have to parry in order to um, reflect those things. And since this thing can't parry, but it can absorb damage, which I'm not... Again, not sure how <laughs> I keep saying... I, I don't understand how to make use of that knowledge. I was on the other side of you. That's the whole point of rolling. You twonk. 
Yeah, the Rafe is not very good if you haven't just rolled, is it? Should we just leave? No, because we've already hit two minutes. Fine. I would explore the level. I can see there is a teleporty thing over here. We'll have a look at it. So it's got to offer. Might be a, a skill that will get us through hard times ahead. Eh, it might do. I think it's just like a... Oh, cool. Um, it's just a bonus to our flask, isn't it? Extra use of flask in dire times. And we get an ice bow. Well, now he's... I'm struggling. Shots pierce all enemies. I'm sorry, shield. <laughs> you, you got nothing. I know I took survival. Maybe we still will keep it, but it's only three points. We're going to need three points in survival eventually anyway, because we're going to want that HP. It's just that we're a little bit behind the curve now because our, our damage on what we do have is not that great. Uh, let's keep the tonic. We'll see if we use it. The protection on it could be pretty useful. I don't think that has anything good in it. I am determined to find this. Whoops. That was just stupid. I don't have an excuse for that one. I will tell you if I feel like I have an excuse for failure. That one, I do not. I mean, in any case, you may consider me to be completely invalid. To suggest I have an excuse for my failure, but sometimes I can at least explain what happened. You, know, you can give me that much. What's down there? Nothing. I do see some money that I could have picked up, but whatever. Let's go. Um, again, it's, I've started the good run at 22 minutes again, which means it might be a long episode, so I apologise. But, you know, stick around. <laughs> I'll probably die in five minutes anyway. <laughs> and that's why we're here. I will put more money in restock. Because I can. Uh, let's upgrade this to a two plus and get a sure toxic cloud is what we're gonna have to stick with because I spent all my money uh, and do we have any of these that I want parries and reflective shots parry this could be good so I I'm experimenting on this one extremely I understand that um, obviously there are better things to do than what I just did well I want to see if it's one of those ones where it's like many strategy games that I've played, or that I used to play. Um, I would never take certain skills because... I'm sure I rolled just now. Bye. <laughs> take your time. Um, I would sort of get stuck in a rut of doing the same thing every time. You know? Which meant that I would never... What am I trying to say? I would never realise the power of certain skills and possibilities because I would it's like always playing Ice Mage or always playing Rogue you know you yeah you know, not to say you shouldn't play a game the way you want to play it but especially in a game like this being able to adapt to any run is super useful and at the same time being able to uh, it's entirely possible that there is ooh, roll, a an amazing synergy that you just never consider because it's outside of your comfort zone. You want to get out of your comfort zone and see if something else is going to be better for you. I wish you wouldn't keep sprouting these things on top of me. Um, that you just never would have considered. So maybe, not that I'm suggesting it's even remotely likely, maybe a... Um, Uh, like a, a survival mutation, even though we don't have any survival weapons, is a good way forward. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to be stuck like I used to be playing all these uh, old... Uh, what else? I don't even think what it would have been that I played. Mech Warrior, probably. That sort of game. You know. Roll... Right, you can only roll so often. Remember that. This is a decent combination, but I'm not sure the ice bow is actually that great. I think shots pierce all enemies was a huge part of it. You have to remember, you can't roll that off. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out who I am and where I'm coming from. You don't need to attack me all the time. 
Can we just talk about this? We're all friends here. Or we could have been. If you weren't who you are. If you weren't the evil worms chewing menace that you've been brought up to apparently be. It doesn't seem to be anything over there. It's not worth fighting everything. Again, I kind of forgot. You don't have to fight every enemy in the game. You can just sort of stop, <laughs> stop them and run past them. Although it's kind of fun and we do want the cells. But I seem to get stuck in the, the sort of the idea that I have to kill everything that I've aggroed. You could just leave. Especially if they're not going to follow you. still think that golem in the last run was a little bit... Not run, but episode. A little bit much. Uh, constantly drawing me back when all I needed to do was heal. Don't forget you can do these things. What happened there? What did you choose to do? <laughs> Whoa, I rolled and then it's too late for me to roll again. That was an incorrect roll. Why? <laughs> Why do these things have so much HP? I tell you they've got so much HP. It's because I've taken all these scrolls, but none of them have given me any uh, DPS, basically. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. For some reason I thought that both of my skills were offensive, but of course that one was not. It's kind of okay, but... Could be better. Where is the way up? It's right over there. How do I even? Ah. Oh. Okay, I don't have to kill him. Just have the rhythm. I think that's part of it. I do forget about the cooldown on the rolling ever so often. Not every so often, ever so often. I meant what I said. Which. You know, really doesn't help because it means that I'm trying to get out of every situation, but it's not going to let me get out of all these situations. Two crits is not enough for these things, which I think is a joke. You're having a laugh, my son. You're having a giraffe. I like how sometimes it rolls just a little bit further. To make sure that you get the. Uh... Die! <laughs> Just so that you make sure you get the best out of your. You get your money's worth for the rolls in this game, I'll tell you that. So this um, tonic probably doesn't recharge until the next level, is my presumption there. That's okay. I didn't need it anyway. And I'm getting a lot of HP back from this um, mutation, so that's decent. I just have to make sure I don't waste as much HP on each attack as I actually um, gain from doing so. And if enough small enemies come and attack me, eh, you know, then I should be able to get most of my HP back. And honestly, with a couple of levels in that mutation, just because I took survival early on, I think I can now sort of start ignoring it. Because I'm back to full health without having used my flask. I know that I use my heal anyway, but I'm not really using the damage of the purple item, I'm using the utility of it, so I think this is the correct thing to do. I have to just get rid of this tonic to be quite honest with you. I know it'll recharge and I can use it again, but I'm going to kind of see if I can rely on the, the, the mutation that I've got. We could just do a sort of a split survival um, brutality build, which I know is hissing through your teeth right now, are going to cost you, mate. I understand. But this is already a highly experimental build, so I don't know if it's entirely necessary to just not try everything. What's up here? Is this just the way up to this? It is. I don't think I want it, but I might as well sell it. Yeah. I know it's damage to a poison target, and I am poisoning targets. Let's go to the ramparts. We haven't been there for ages. I like it up there. It's nice and breezy. Good breath of fresh air. You know, we've been down in these dank dungeons for such a long time. Uh, anything that we can unlock that I want to unlock? Not really. Absorbs more damage, damage to force field and successful parry. This might be a good one to unlock for the next time we want to try a survival type build and actually <laughs> keep our. Um... Oh, that's nice. Actually keep the. 
Nice. The the shield rod just selling it straight away because uh, I hate everything. Spite, not gonna use, not gonna use. Probably not gonna use. That might be good, but then why not just this? Or Yeah. Combo and melee seem to sort of be almost exactly the same thing. In that For the time after killing an enemy, unless there's another enemy nearby, the DPS is not worthwhile. The only real difference is that it carries over from fight to fight. Whereas if you're in the middle of a fight, you get more DPS with melee. I don't think you actually get more DPS with melee either, which is interesting. Because you think that melee would be a more powerful one, because in order to enable it, you have to put yourself in, in more danger, essentially. It's nice having uh, a bonus to the actual damage of the... Uh, um, the crit. Nice. Everything's dying really fast. That's good, by the way. In case you weren't sure about the uh, mechanics of this game, the faster you can get things to die, the better things are going to be for you long term. Just die. There we go. Some things are just being stubborn, and you just have to sort of give them that extra little sort of little nudge, convince them to die, because they seem reluctant, and we should encourage good behaviour. Much like training a dog, which obviously will be a thing in the next episode. Mm. It's okay, but not, not okay enough. We we want to encourage good behaviour in enemies, and if we can just give them that little bit of extra push over the over the edge of you know the precipice of life. Which is to say, in many of the cases, we don't need to try and get a roll in before we hit them, because we can just hit them. Let us keep going in brutality. Woohoo! Can't say titty. Sorry, Google Deep Mind. Don't know if videos actually get demonetized or if it's just um, from certain advertisers. Really had to. <laughs> that was almost a puzzle, that one. Wowee. Thank you for the opportunity. Why can't you decide which way to go? You really confuse me. I kind of like that there's a certain amount of which order do I attack things in. Because you need to know which one's going to attack first, you need to make sure that you've got your uh, abilities available, i.e. your roll. If one of them's... Oh, yeah, like that. If one of them's going to attack you, you do need to make sure that you haven't accidentally put yourself in a position where you can't avoid one of them, having avoided the other, which happens all the time. I do appreciate healing up even this... To this extent, it's really helpful. And a couple of, if I, if I, the reason I wanted to split into survival was that it would, presumably, um, you know, improve the healing that you get from that mutation every time. I mean, this is a perfect example. If I have to choose, I'm going to choose survival. Like that might be the way to do it. Keep putting points in survival. You know what? I should have checked. Because what I did not do in that situation was validate my assumption. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Watch it, you. That um, it was going to improve the the HP that I get from this mutation. So I should have done that. Not that it mattered. I mean, purple is no. Purple is basically going to help me with my. Um, I guess it would help me with my left trigger there. I think about it. So it might not have been um, it was a rash decision to make. I, I fully agree. How do we get in there then? Also, there's a... Where? I'm guessing this is a another thing that I have to unlock somehow. Ooh. Good. I, 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 I couldn't tell you even how to get to that apparently lily key. There's nothing over here, so let me out. <laughs> I'm guessing that the lily key was somewhat um, gated by the the fact I had to stomp through that floor. But, like, why? <laughs> Maybe it's gated by something else as well? I'm only going down here to see if I've missed something. Probably could have used the teleport to do this. That's okay. Like, I can't see it through these walls. I can, actually. It's over there. I don't know. We'll figure that out one day. 
Honestly, I should probably just turn to the Googles every now and then and see if there's some information for me that I can... Uh, I know that there's probably a certain sense of achievement to discovering these things for myself, but it can get a little bit frustrating both for me and for you lot, because um, I'm just going to keep ignoring them <laughs> or waiting for someone to tell me anyway. If I'm going to wait for someone to tell me anyway, I might as well just look it up. Ooh, careful. I mean, that makes sense to me. Does that make sense to you? I think that's the right attitude to say. I think my logic is at least correct, if not... Um, even if I've just used it to validate a conclusion I already have come to. I don't really need to buy anything. Again, okay, I'm not using my skills. This is one of those levels where I don't tend to find it all that necessary. Ooh, this is new. I don't think I've been this way before. Or maybe I have. Have I been to the rampart since I learned to do that? I like stopping it so that when I roll towards it, it's still there. That's a good, it's a good trick. Uh, you gated nothing. That seems wrong. Did you mean to do that? <laughs> Did you mean to have nothing here for me? There's got to be something. Surely. Surely you can't be serious. You, th it was, it was a whole difficult thing to get into. I needed the. Spider claw climbing rune, and you just gave me a teleport oh, game. You're breaking my heart, dude. I was hoping for a new path or a, a wild, crazy treasure or some amazing things like this. Ooh, that's not correct. Run away. That's what we like to see. Just don't go in there. <laughs> it's not necessary, so leave it. I do like that you can dodge in midair, although it's pretty difficult to actually get right. I mean, it's easy to do, you just roll in midair, but not ending up in a sticky situation as a result, that's the difficult part to get right. I know there's prisoners up there that I can investigate, but I'm not really interested. Pretty sure I've done it before. Die! There we go. <laughs> I like freezing the water, that's pretty cool. Ow! Die! I can't hit it because I'm on it. How weird. We've made it. No, shush! Uh, I said no shush, because I assumed that you could all hear my phone make a big racket, but it occurs to me that maybe you couldn't. People trying to... Ooh, use the room. Why not? We're already at... <laughs> I told you. Two... Two abortive runs because I'm trying to do something different, and then one really, really long one that makes the episode more than an hour long. Uh, sure, get gold as well as a cell. And we might as well put some brutality, even then. What I want is a uh, skill level in not being hit by difficult jumping puzzles. Can I have that? Oh, come on. I did the jump correctly, but not the bit after the jump, which is where you don't get hit. Yeah. <laughs> Only being hit once by those mate. This is pretty frustrating. Oh you made Oh <laughs> I might be able to recover a lot of this HP just from uh, killing things to be honest. That wasn't as easy as the other ones. The ones that I actually, you know, succeeded at in the past. Thank you for the gold. Now I'm wondering if maybe I just spend it on an upgrade to one of my... Excuse me? An elite? Elite where? It says I uh, awoke an elite... Oh! Hello. Now we use these. Yeah! <laughs> A little bit of silence there, apologies, but I was really concentrating. An extra jump and damage from projectiles, minus 75%. It's basically worth it. And look, I just got as much money from selling that as I would have got from all of the gold that I would have got the golden cells anyway. So there you go. Anything good down here? Oh, it's a long way. <laughs> Black Bridge, what? I thought this was a gated area. 
Is it not? No. I thought that whole place was gated by some skill that I had to use, but maybe it wasn't. Uh, survival score, thank you. They all have a choice. Seems like too much information for a, a chat like me. I don't need that. Just tell me what I'm going to have. You know, lay it on me thick. I'm not afraid. Why are you always facing the wrong way? This is not correct. There we go. Hoping to just get back a bunch of the HP that I've lost uh, from just being bad. But platforming. Ow. Not funny. Also, if I'm going to keep taking damage from being hit, I'm kind of going to undermine my idea about saving it. Ooh. Stun grenade. Don't know if that's any good, but we have it now. We might as well go to the Black Bridge and make sure that we um, turn it into uh, an actual acquisition for the blueprint dude. Anything else on this level that I really care about? There is a scroll, but I'm not going to go back for it. <laughs> Too lazy now. Take me out. No point fighting. I fought an elite by accident. I mean, want me to go all the way back just to fight a scroll enemy? What do you think I am? Who do you think you are? I am. Let us put scrolls in Rampart. By which I mean cells. I'm not going to use it. But we have it. And then 47 in this, which means we're going to get really close. I mean... Damage the force field after a successful parry. Attacking just after a parry inflicts 300% damage. It said plus 300% damage, which I'm not going to reforge. So, heck yourself. No, I would like a new rapier, but I, I know... Oh, yeah, you do get a lot more for melee, actually. Look at that. And I apologise. Once again, I just realised I forgot to see whether I was getting more um, more HP from my kills. Oh, I forgot I had a drink and I really needed it. More HP from my kills as a result of putting um, points in survival and getting a mutation improved. So we need to learn to block this dude. There we go. So if we block this dude and then roll behind him, we are quids in, my monkey. Quids. In. Is that an excellent thing or what? I don't know. I wasn't really looking. I think it might have been. Run away. All oh, right, you can't uh, can't roll through that. Forget every time. That was not the thing I thought it was going to be. That was three hundred damage. Oh, careful! I thought I got in before it. I was wrong. 152, 264, lots and lots of damage. Face the right way and you're, uh... That was decent. Uh-oh. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Give me that. Have some of this. Make sure to jump over this. It's going to be slow. It's going to be difficult to do. That's fine. Roll. Good. Parry? Yes. The force field super helping right now, I'm being honest. And then a jump? No jump. Not there yet. That's alright. You know, we don't have to all be in the same part of the relationship at the same time. Stun, huh? Oh, that's not a parryable thing. That's not a parryable thing. Stop trying. That's a... Don't... What? Once again, I've forgotten how to play this game. Don't worry about it. It happens all the time. Right. I was in mid-roll when he started that attack. Here you go. Do the thing where you can... Do the thing I can defend against, basically. Run away. Do the thing I can parry. I need to do the thing I can parry. Nice. No, I can't parry that. Why aren't you listening? You jumped right over me when you had the perfect opportunity. RT this. LT this. Yeah! <laughs> I slowed him down in mid-stab. You ain't got nothing, my dude. Why are you here? No! Ah. You can't do that to that. 
You know Khan has parry. That was just bad parry. But just get him. <laughs> get him. There's no excuse to be doing this badly against this, this enemy right now. I accept without consideration. That's a thousand more DPS, which is more than twice as much. I can't even sell that. That's how long I've had it. I fully accept because it's, like I said in the last episode, almost exactly the same thing, except for the, you know, the small difference in actually how you use it. I mean, fine, there is a small difference in how you use it, but ultimately it's roll and stab them, um, which to me is grand. Ooh. I know I want you to unlock the reroll. I know what I said. I know. I'm pretty happy that I only used one heal in that whole thing, and I don't even know if I had to. I'm going to still get this because I died so horribly trying to go up to the slumbering sanctuary, I think it was. In the last episode. I didn't like the. Uh, I don't really like the golems, thank you very much. Even though I did really well against them last time. Die, thank you. So we have uh, a fairly decent build, which I can actually roll back into survival now if I really wanted to, because um, I have a colourless weapon. Right, you're that guy. I hate you. Leave it. Can I parry the... Um, can I parry the... What am I saying? The cannonballs. Can I parry cannonballs? I would very much like it if I could parry cannonballs. Which is a very strange thing to anybody to have said. In any situation. <laughs> I can parry cannonballs. You have no chance. Right, that's really good. You uh, attack slower than I expected. That's fine too. We'll learn. We all learn together. That's how we grow as, as individuals. And as a community. So let us all grow together. There is a time dot here which closed four whole minutes ago. Brilliant. I don't know if I can even... You know? You follow? You say you dig? I don't know if I can even. No no no. Leave me. This dude is my I don't know if I can uh stop That was hard. <laughs> just use just heal. Take it. Don't be too proud to keep the run going. There's no uh no prizes for anything. Except for, like, the literal end of the game, which is... I suppose could be considered a prize, but I don't think I'm going to make any, uh... Too much progress there. We have got a village key for the village people. And then remember to just go through here instead of having another explore for no reason. That's the correct thing to do. Missed. That is the correct way of dealing with that. That is not the correct way of dealing with you. I didn't expect you. can, by the way, just roll through that. I'm trying to move, but you won't let me. It's very frustrating. There we go. Those pirates are harder to deal with than I sort of give them credit for, which is on me <laughs> completely, but at the same time, stop being so difficult. So this says recovers 5 HP, and I'm pretty sure it's always said recover 5 HP. So I'm just going to go with the DPS. It's always you. I would like it to say more than 5 HP. But it doesn't, so we just kind of have to live with it. Die! I'm out of range. Can't kill things that are too far away. Let's go in here and buy stuff. Please don't be a kitchen. You are a kitchen. I don't need. Oh, heck. Here you go. Here's some money. I'm just <laughs> taking more damage from enemies than they're giving me in HP for killing him, so. Um, it's not sustainable, I'm sorry to say. Like many things in this world. My HP is not sustainable. It's a false economy. Missed. Look, I need a lot of practice parrying this enemy. Uh, wait. Probably not going to get it by doing it that way, that's for sure. There's many more doors. Have I been in them all? I don't know. Also, I see scrolls. 
Not Dead Sea Scrolls. Ice Sea Scrolls. Leave. See, sometimes I am stun locked, and that is very frustrating. Nice. So you can parry that as well. Now the only thing I need to learn is, can you parry the... You're, you're not a chef. Uh, can you parry the one where if you miss the first one and that's a three stomp attack? That's, by the way, that's a cannon he's doing that with, so he must be pretty damn strong. I keep trying to use my shield as a, a axe, not an axe, a bow. <laughs> Axe bow, you, you know what I'm saying. Um, can you parry the other two attacks with that? Have I been in here? Yeah, I think that's why it's that color. Also, I've got the key, so. Can you attack? Can you parry the second or third cannon attack? Finally managed to say the words he was trying to say all this time. Let me in. I know that we can go to the other place with the key, but I don't really want to because I'm scared. So I'm not going to. And you can't make it because by the time you're watching this, damage is done, mate. Kind of didn't expect you to be able to roll that cannonball through that passageway, which is why I sort of didn't bother trying to prevent you from doing so. Nice. Like, I'm, I am finding it harder to attack the enemies from behind than to, um, than to, than to, than to, than to just roll and stab them, like with the rapier. But this is the other village key, right? Yeah. There's actually two village keys, because there's two village people. Stop saying the joke, which isn't the joke, that village key and village people start with the word village. Eh? I have nothing else to tell you. This is the way the game exists. Thank you for hurting me in a fantastically embarrassing manner. That is just not funny. I'm really not using my shield at all. I recognize this. Ooh. Like, I can't really fight this guy. <laughs> Never mind. Sod that guy. I don't want this. Have this, and then die. There you go. Oh, perfect. I know I should be using my ice grenade way more. Especially when I'm saying I don't know how to fight this guy, but at the same time, I, I don't know how. Ooh, hello. You're not allowed to do that. I forbid you. It's not funny. Oh, jeez. That thing, that <laughs> cannonball arrived because my, uh, it, it tried to, uh, it tried to uh, kill my Tried to kill my turret with a cannonball. The cannonball came to me, which has happened before, and it's not fair. <laughs> it is, it's it's literally fair, but that's all I can say. It's just about fair. I can probably get away with not doing purple simply by virtue of the fact that... Is that a chest? What is that? Um, simply by virtue of the fact that I haven't... Okay. Again, I can't talk about the game and play the game. I have to talk about other things. Ow. These cannibals in close quarters are very dangerous. I'm reasonably sure they're violating some sort of health and safety rule. I'd really like if that was just a <laughs> freeze the dude instead of a... Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I can just get the better one. Uh, and therefore... I'm golden, right? I don't have to put points in purple to improve my um, purple skills because I could, in theory, just get a better purple skill in the first place. Fine. I haven't found a good... <laughs> Must be up here, then. Which involves doing this. No? Where's my village key? There's a door I haven't been in. Very well. I will do this, but only because you're telling me to. Not because I want to. I don't know how I s successfully succeeded there. It's a little bit like um, debugging. And, like, the program suddenly works. It's like, I don't know what I did to make it work, but it's working now. Very frustrating. Again, that thing. 
the, the bouncing back of the cannonball is not something I am prepared to deal with in any situation. So I just sort of blank it and ignore it. It's probably not the best way of going about it. Let us go the easy route because what we really wanted was another hour long run instead of just, you know, dying early. I'm tired, man. I play this game, I play the game about 9 o'clock every night, so it's currently about. It's 20 past 10. Oh, clock tower. Yay. It's that or the Forgotten Sepulchre. As bad as each other. Um, play the game at about 9 o'clock, so it's 20 past 10 now. I know it's an hour of recording, but there's there's overheads, you know? Leave me alone. Um, so, <laughs> I do try and make half-hour episodes, I promise. Attacking just after a parry inflicts a hell of a lot of damage. I really wish I could make better use of that, but I can't. So, I start to get a little bit more tired during the game, which makes me a little bit worse. And, I mean, I could split it into two episodes, but... I just wish I could be consistently bad, so I could do <laughs> three ten-minute episodes and go, well, I suck. Uh, see you later. But actually, it's because I'm doing experimental episodes, so it's probably a little bit harsh on myself to say that I suck. It's more that because I am trying new things, um, I'm not necessarily prepared for the uh, the new playstyle that I have to deal with in order to win, basically. I'm glad that these things get stunned every now and then. Pretty pesky when they don't. Ow. Just let, let that die. Kind of wish I'd somehow managed to, uh... No, that... Kill that. Kind of wish I'd somehow managed to get, um... The faster grenade thingy. Balance play is just not good enough. I don't need your sympathy. Oh heck. Yay, my favourite type of... Uh, I pressed the roll button instead of the pick up thing button because my brain just decided that no longer do I remember which button is which. <laughs> In order to... I told you, get tired. Oh, criminy. Jiminy Snicket, Lemony Cricket. Lemony Cricket, that's a new one. Just conflate two beloved children's characters. For my own amusement and indeed bemusement. Right, last time I did this, I missed an entire tower for like 20 minutes. So let's not do that again. Also, let's activate these interstitial portals so that I can just teleport around when I've decided that I've, I'm lost. Which happens all the time. Oh, help. Help. Whoops. Well, I got one of them, but not the other one, which is kind of pesky. Especially since it didn't reflect it back in such a situation that... Die. Okay, good. <gasps> I'm holding my breath so much right now. Again, 5% of HP has not changed as far as I can... Not even 5%, just 5. That was bad. Really, really bad. Not in the Michael Jackson way. That was just actually bad. Bell tower key. So this is the one you can unlock by pressing the bells in the right order. I wish that thing wouldn't keep doing bombs. That's very scary. Where did that come from? Die. Ooh, he died. I know I asked politely and everything. Didn't necessarily expect him to cooperate. Nope. Again, I wish I could really get my uh, parry game on. I really need to practice, obviously. But it's not as easy as all that. Nice. Just pay attention to the exclamation marks. I think the, the other problem I've been getting wrong with the, the parry uh, thingy is that basically um, I am... Um, I've already got this one. Uh, I, mean, I could just go to the clock room, but I don't need to because I've got uh, a heal left, so we will hold on to that. Uh, what am I saying? My parry game 
I, I'm either try and parry too much or I forget to. It's similar to my, uh, similar to the problem I have with, with the grenades and things, you know? Like, I either try and use the grenade when it's not ready, or I completely forget to use the grenade. Neither of which is the correct thing to do. The idea is to use the thing at the point where it's necessary to do so. Like, where it would give you the biggest benefit, i.e. parrying something that would otherwise hurt. Do you know what? I might as well get some HP here. Um, I'm assuming that, to some extent, I level up my HP more than they level up their damage, but I don't really know. Is there anything in here? Primoire. Don't know if I can get any items or anything from here. Research notebook. Change and less quickly. So in this tower, there's some research going on about... I don't know what changing is. Maybe it's the result of the... Uh... Yeah, no, I'm not going over there. Um, maybe it's the result of the... Go down the thing. Uh, plague thingy? Or maybe it is an intentional change that they are trying to reproduce. I might as well just go down here. Thank you for the extra HP, which is, at this point, quite helpful indeed. I try to parry that. Oh, I'm on the spikes. I didn't even see the spikes, but I'm on them. Nice. So if I can get that to work, then I'm golden, right? But the problem is I keep failing to get that to work. Haha, <laughs> the fire helps. Grand. Right. Again, I've got uh, one more use of my flask, so I don't really need to run out of here until that gets used up. And I do have half my HP, but it's coming back slowly as I successfully kill things, so what's that? Ooh! That was good timing. I didn't know I could do that. Keep at it. <laughs> Keep trying. You'll get it. This is a tedious but effective way of dealing with that. Ooh, that is a colourless weapon, which is nice. Oh, what? It? No. Stop with the spinning thing so I can look at the thing. <laughs> it's, it's pesky. Right. Moving swiftly on. I know we can just go and fight the clockmaker, and fair warning, I'm not trying to sandbag or anything anything, but I will probably die to the clock maker today. Because I'm just not 100% with it, and I've forgotten the... I never really had the patterns down in the first place. This thing takes too long to attack. So we'll use our final flask. Again, I'm not worried right now, because I've got plenty of HP as a result of using the flask, but this, uh, this game is not long for this world. Oh, already behind him. Nice. Trying to roll so that you're still behind something when you just want to get closer to it. Probably not the best idea, just don't try and roll. Uh, it's been... Inflammable oil. Victims burn. Ooh. Explode, bleeding. I could just buy this. There's no reason not to, because I can't take most of this HP with me. And now we have a... Um, skill that is scaling with something that we're actually putting points into, which is also decent. Just have to remember to use it! And we're going to scale the same thing right now, so that's decent. Close. Hahaha! <laughs> that was almost a bad parry as well, so I'm glad I got that. Right, just the last minute there. Woohoo! Straight through the fire. Good idea. I appreciate the fact that the law doesn't pretend that they are not flying straight through the floor when that happens. I didn't mean to do that, but I did. Like, it happened anyway. I just didn't know it was possible. I, I attacked so much that I ended up at the wall. Which is preposterous. And then suddenly, I, I was attacking the wall. I've parried something. No, I'm not taking your stupid curse chest. Get out of here. One day, maybe you can persuade me to take a curse chest, but it is not this day. I will go to the clock room, try my best against the clockmaker, and then maybe 
just maybe we'll have an even longer run. But I, again, don't want to sandbag. I'm not very good at this fight. I tend to blank the fact that he is... They are um, firing that thing at me. The, the grappling hook. This can be a bit of an issue. I wonder if we just re-roll this a little bit. You can't um, upgrade it to a plus, which kind of seems fair, but... No, I'm okay with these modifiers. I'm kind of okay with this modifier, but I would like it to be a, a plus. Yeah, I mean, any... Um, any sort of very damage over time or other status effect that these things can produce is good for me, I think. Oh, Buzz Buzz, hello. What's going on now? Facebook, Facebook, and Discord. Should we talk about Discord conversation yet? It was strange, okay? But I appreciate that there are communities where I don't have to worry about being, like, not being weird. I, I, I recognize it that time. Nice. More of this. Oh, I tried to parry it. I don't know if it's possible to parry it, but I tried anyway. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, mate. That was good. I, I can't... Do the thing, and then I can heal while you do it. You can parry that! Is there anything you can't parry? Ooh! You just have to be good at timing, which I'm not, but you understand. Nice! I rolled through it! What? Suddenly I'm good at this! What is happening? You got me anyway. Okay, I thought I could get that right. That was wrong. It's okay. We're learning. We're learning. Learning is good. Ow. I... What? Alright, oh, right, right, right. Heal me up, boy. Finally, I'm getting some hits in. It's about time. Stop attacking me, though. It's really unfair. I should be able to attack you, and you shouldn't be able to attack me. That's the way this works. Yes, let's finish this. I have used both of my heals, so that's a problem. And I thought I might have some good timing on that attack there, but I didn't. Stop, stop. Repelling it. Nope. Ah. So I, I really, really tried to use my shield more possibly than I should have, but I wanted to be able to... I just wanted to practice the timing. Because at some point, we're going to have to face that enemy with a shield properly. Uh, it's, I, I feel like I'm getting the hang of the shield meta, but it's so much more difficult than just stabbing the thing in the back. Because remember the first time we encountered that guy, and we were just so ludicrously overpowered from having um, a massive um, uh, brutality build that I, I had no choice but to beat the heck out of him. And yet, with a uh, survival build, there's more finesse to it, which I obviously don't have because I'm as clumsy as all heck. But I feel like if we could make that work, we can really make that work. So thank you for watching this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope that you'll be joining me for the next one. I hope that you'll leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and that you will uh, share this around so that more people can enjoy my dulcet tones and constant complaining. But until next time, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you.